Close your eyes, take yourself back to that place when you were a little kid. You're out on a late cruise and you're having a good time. Pontoon boats are going to maximize that square footage by being a floating platform on the water and also they're going to be very stable too with how wide the pontoons are apart. And with all that square footage and deck space, that's all more room for more family and friends to get out on the water. Nowadays, this isn't your granddaddy's pontoon boat. We've got tri-tune, supercharged engine, twin engines. The days of pontoon boats moving slow through the water are over. If you're looking for that boat to just get on and go and have the most relatively at ease boating experience that there can possibly be, then the runabout is the boat for you. The term runabout is a relatively broad term. These can be center consoles, side consoles, bow riders. I'm talking about those boats 20 to 35 feet. Just get on and go. No worries whether you're fishing, diving, cruising around a lake, or might even want a tender for that larger boat, then you might want to consider the runabout boat class. When we're talking about boats usually under 25 feet, every single square foot counts. And that's where deck boats come into play. A deck boat is just that, a boat that has its hull flared out to create more deck space and get as many people on board as possible without being on top of each other. And with all that square footage and deck space, that's all more room for more family and friends to get out on the water. Deck boats are typically outboard powered, but you will see them with an inboard engine too. And deck boats are also gonna be meant for shallow water, maybe going to the sandbar, anchoring up and just enjoying yourselves on a nice summer day. So there you have it, deck boats. And nowadays the deck boat market is wide open with plenty of different options and variances. Cruising boats is exactly what the name says. You're cruising, you're enjoying yourself. We're talking leisure boating here. Everybody's having a good time and you're not exactly in a rush to get wherever you're going. Typically the cruisers are gonna be a little bit larger, a little bit slower, sleeping area down below where you can take a nap. While they are called cruisers, they are also perfect for sitting at the dock, drinking a cold one, and grilling a steak as the sun goes down. While your cruisers are typically slower boats, that's not saying that there are plenty of outboard power options that are really gonna move through the water. Whether you're cruising just across the bay or across the whole country, there's something for you available at Marine Max.